Hey guys, Tech Launcher with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your personal voice with your new feature on iOS 17 for your iPhone. So let's get started. So in order to do that, it's going to be really simple. Once you're onto your phone, you're going to go into your settings of your phone and you're going to go to accessibility. And under accessibility, if you go where the speech section is, there's a new feature called personal voice. So if you click on that, now you can create a personal voice that the iPhone can clone and use that for the different purposes of using your voice. So in order to do that, what will happen is when you click on that, it's going to ask you to pretty much record a voice. So what will happen here, as you can see here, you'll record about 150 praises, which takes about 15 minutes. It will generate a personalized vo voice, and then you can use that to communicate with live speech so once you do that you hit continue we're ready to go now a couple things when you are ready to record make sure that you know, you're in a quiet place you want to speak naturally like you normally do and take your time when you're reading through these phrases so the machine learning on the iphone can actually generate that custom voice basically cloning your voice and you hit continue here and then you can put name whatever your name is so maybe you want to put like your name and personal voice, whatever that is for the first option, hit continue. And after that, it's gonna tell you to record the voice. You'll click on record and go through the process here. So as you can see here, you can say, I am creating a personal voice with my iPhone. And then as you can see here, you can keep on going through this. You can listen and then as you'll see here now the phrases begin now this does take quite a bit but after you're done it's gonna get, take some time to process it and then after that you'll be able to use your personalized voice on your iPhone now there's some limitation on this first of all if you ha have to use this you're gonna be have to be upgraded to iOS 17 I believe some of the models like iPhone 12 and above currently supports this we've seen some more models that did get iOS 17 didn't have it yet so maybe in the future update Apple will include that but again, if you have it, go check it out. And if you want to use it, pretty cool feature. I think you're going to really like. So thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.